All right, boys and girls. Today we are starting our Knowledge 6 Lesson 6 story on the history of space exploration and astronauts. Here we go. Let's get started. Some words we need to know before we start our story today. First word, astronaut. That's a person who is trained to travel into space. An example of this, an astronaut has to train for many years before he or she travels in space. The next word I want you to listen for as I read is the word launch. Launch means to lift or push an object forcefully. An example of this is in the afternoon, they planned to launch the rocket into the air. The next word to listen for as I read is rockets. Engines that are used to send things through air and space are called rockets. An example of this, the rockets shot straight up into the air. Spacecraft is another word in our story we'll hear. That's a vehicle for traveling in space. Spacecraft. An example, a spacecraft has many strong layers to protect the astronauts as they travel to space. And our last word to know is technology. The use of new scientific discoveries to solve common problems. An example, my mom said that all telephones used to be connected by a wire to the wall, but that technology has changed a lot since then. Boys and girls, try to listen for those words in the story as I read to you today. Here we go. Ever since they first gazed up at the stars, people have wondered if it was possible and what it would be like to travel into outer space. For most of human history, the idea of traveling into space was considered to be impossible. Space, most people thought, was out of reach, and there was no way humans would ever be able to go there. Still, this did not keep people from using their imaginations and coming up with creative ideas for space travel. The Chinese invented the first rockets. Hundreds of years ago, using gunpowder, the same type of explosive used to fire guns and cannons. Lightning, lighting the gunpowder would launch the rocket into the air. Eventually, people thought about using rockets to go all the way into outer space. It was not until about 100 years ago that scientists started to make serious advances in rocket technology. By the 1950s, probably around the time your grandparents were born, or just a little bit before then, Rocket technology had improved to the point that people began to think seriously about space travel and exploration. Back then, there was a nation called the Soviet Union, which no longer exists today, but which consisted of Russia and other countries near Russia. At that time, the United States was the only other nation in the world as large or as strong as the Soviet Union. The leaders of the Soviet Union and the United States each wanted to show the world that theirs was more powerful country by being the first to launch a rocket into outer space. This photo shows scientists in the United States launching the first rocket from Cape Canaveral, Florida in 1950. This was just a test to see whether this type of rocket engine worked. This was the first of hundreds of rockets to be launched from Cape Canaveral. The Soviet Union succeeded in putting the first man-made object in orbit on October 4, 1957, by launching a satellite called Sputnik 1. A satellite is an object that moves in a constant orbit around another object in space. Sputnik 1 was carried into space aboard a rocket and then released. It orbited Earth for several months before re-entering the atmosphere and burning up. After the success of Sputnik 1, the space race between the United States 
and the Soviet Union had begun. It wasn't a real race with a start and a finish line, but both countries wanted to be the first to go to space. Each country wanted to prove that it had a better space program than the other country. For several years, the Soviet Union continued to lead in the space race. The leaders and people of each country took the space race very seriously. It was not a game, but a true matter of national pride. The United States developed a space program called the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or NASA for short. The scientists at NASA hurried to try to catch up to the progress the Soviets had made. A few months after the Soviet Union launched Sputnik 1, NASA scientists in the United States launched a satellite of their own, Explorer 1. The space race continued at a heated pace into 1961, when Soviet Yuri Gagarin became the first person to go into space and return safely. This picture of Gagarin was taken on the way to the launch pad for his historic journey. You can bet that he was feeling very nervous at that point. The Americans were close behind. A couple of months after Gagarin made his famous flight, a man named Alan Shepard became the first American to travel into space. This picture was taken shortly before Shepard boarded the Freedom 7 spacecraft. Notice that like Gagarin, Shepard was wearing a helmet and a special suit. Space travelers need special gear like this in order to survive the extreme conditions of outer space, where there is no air and where the temperatures can be both incredibly hot and incredibly cold. Returning from outer space is just as dangerous as launching into outer space because you can crash into the atmosphere on the way back like meteors do. This photo shows the Freedom 7 Alan Shepard ship after his flight. Shepard is inside that little capsule. When his flight was finished, the capsule re-entered the atmosphere and a parachute opened to lower it gently to Earth. Shepard landed in the ocean as planned and the capsule floated there until a helicopter came to recover him. Space travelers, like Alan Shepard, are called astronauts. The word astronaut comes from two Greek words, astro meaning star and not meaning sail. So an astronaut is a star sailor or a person who is trained to travel into space. Although being an astronaut can certainly be one of the most interesting jobs in the world, it is by no means an easy job. Astronauts spend many years in training to prepare for journeys into outer space. Astronauts must be healthy and strong because space travel can be very difficult. Astronauts are stuffed into tiny spaces and launched into space in a rocket powered by thousands of gallons of powerful fuel. This picture shows astronauts undergoing training. These Apollo 17 astronauts are learning to use equipment for their mission. Early NASA astronauts also spent hours and hours running in place on treadmills soaking their feet in ice water and undergoing a number of other difficult painful tests intended to make them tough. They had to be tough to be astronauts. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed the story today as we explored the history of space exploration and astronauts. I can't wait to share another story with you. Have a wonderful day.